posts like these might have you wondering if electric vehicles can really hold up to Canadian winters. I spoke to one owner who says they really can. It's the warmest, most reliable vehicle I've ever owned in my life. Um, I've driven this vehicle for six years. This is my sixth winter and it's an awesome car. Norway is the number one market for electric vehicles in the world. And Norway is very much a winter country. They're basically in the Arctic Circle. Uh, so if those cars work there, they're definitely gonna work here. He preheats his car using an app on his phone and can even start it safely in the garage. And if it's plugged in at the time, it doesn't use any battery power to do that. But there have been lots of studies on EVs in winter, and experts say keeping the car warm while driving, when it's frigid outside, can mean the battery might die faster. So you might not be able to go quite as far on a charge, what they call range loss. We analyzed 13 different popular EV models this year, and the range loss can vary by, by vehicle. It, can be as little as 11% in freezing conditions or as much as almost 30%, 28% is what we saw in some in some vehicles. The average is about 20%. So this vehicle goes from about 450 kilometers of driving range to about 300 to 350. Uh, all depends on what I'm doing, but uh, it's never affected me in my day-to-day -day life. I drive this vehicle every day, even when it's minus 60, and I drive it across Western Canada to go snowboarding every winter. So it's never stopped me from doing what I want to do. We generally drive much shorter trips to the grocery store and to work or school. Um, and so day to day, people that drive an electric car don't experience any of the concerns that people think about when they're in that purchasing process. He said this range anxiety peaks about two years before someone buys an EV and reduces gradually after that to be basically non-existent when they actually own the vehicle. Plus, he stressed that there's no permanent damage done to a battery because of the cold weather. As soon as spring comes and the ground thaws, your car will be back to full range. Back in Saskatchewan, Matt says he finds his EV to be more affordable than a vehicle that takes gas. It only cost me $50 a month to drive it. I basically have almost no maintenance with this vehicle in the last six years. And more people seem to be switching to electric. The number of electric vehicles in the province is 12 times higher than it was just five years ago, now sitting at about 2,500, according to SGI. And SAS Power has been working with EV owners in case of a bigger boom. I'm not aware of any issues that we're seeing on the grid due to EV charging right now. I think it's more, more of just us looking to be prepared for the future, you know, as we start to see more and more, right? More EVs and, and we want to make sure we're, we're ready for them. SAS Power also told us the drivers who switch to electric vehicles reduce their emissions by about 30% a year. Alex Saladuka, CBC News, Regina.